Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Very quick example of perspective and how stars can appear to hit the horizon on a flat earth. Here we have a street lamp in front of me, possibly three or four meters tall. And beyond that ship, which is sailing on flat water, we have uh, the lights on the Severn Bridge, the second Severn Bridge here in Portis Head. Now, of course, the, the bridge is very, very high. Uh, I don't know how many meters high, but of course uh, it appears much, much lower than uh, the street light just in front of me. It's just a simple law of perspective. And uh, I mean, you can barely see those lights now. I'm not sure how far away they are, maybe a couple of miles, uh, but it wouldn't take much more distance between myself and the bridge for those lights to simply not be seen anymore, not due to any curvature of the earth, but just because they um, are beyond anything we can actually see. Of course, this, this boat, if it was on any kind of curve, would be going downhill. <laughs> but that's not what happens to boats, they go along flat water. But if we just compare uh, that aspect of perspective with these street lights, which uh, we all know, uh, we can see how they go off into the distance. Yeah, they appear to sink down. And uh, this again is just perspective at play. We know that if we saw these side on, uh, then of course we don't get that aspect of perspective. They don't appear to sink down. This is just a simple observation anyone can make anywhere. And this tells us that the idea that uh, a, a light in the sky going towards the horizon because we're on a spherical Earth is, is ridiculous. It's unnecessary. Well, it's only necessary if you want to believe that we're on an impossibly spherical Earth. Because the simple fact of the matter is that the closer something is to you, the higher it will appear in our field of view, and the further away it is, the lower it will appear to be, even though uh, those lights in the distance, you can see those, possibly see those towers on the bridge, are possibly a, a few, I don't know, a couple of hundred meters, 300 meters high, something like that. Uh, but of course, they, they are much, much lower uh, in our field of view than this light in front of us. And uh, it's not caused by anything other than perspective. So observations of stars uh, appearing towards, get towards the horizon, uh, are, have been used as proof that we're on a spinning ball, when in fact it ignores the obvious, that perspective is the imaginary curve. Thank you very much.